kick and go. And a good tackle. And the penalty. This is trouble for someone. Break it up. Punch. I, you saw it clearly? No doubt. Right, what you say is Ed Blue punched the opponent. I'm thinking red card penalty. Is that it? Just like, you're in the bendo or in the, red. In the thing, you're for that. Red. I am going to read before it. You're for that though. Added to this, yeah. he provoked him, that's why he's been punched. Yeah. Right, right. Yep. So you're in the bin for that. Sean, we've got another foul play incident. Okay. Blue player punching a black player. All right. Okay. Don't know if he was provoked or anything or if the punch landed. There was no provocation, he was just yelled by the black player. He was, the black player was punched in the face, so therefore it should be a penalty and a red card against a blue seven. Tyrone Holmes is going to join Jeb Sinclair outside of the field for the rest of the game. Referee is going to come back for the penalty where that ball came down. Late shoulder charge by 18 Blue. Recommendation? Uh, yellow card. I can't remember a game that uh, I've done Leon. where one side Leon. was down to 12 men. Western Province number 8 Jeb Sinclair has escaped further sanctions following his red card for punching against the Sharks in Durban last Saturday. The Canadian international will be available for selection against Grecois at Newlands this weekend after the citing commissioner found mitigating circumstances, namely that he had been provoked by Jean Dazel, who was shown a yellow card. Province flank Tyrone Holmes was not so lucky and has been slapped with a one-match ban after also being red-carded for punching during their 43-27 defeat. Province were reduced to 12 men by the end of the match when Bilalem van der Sluis was yellow-carded for a late charge on Louis Ludic.